I'm not sure what year this was, but um, I got a call from my television agent and he said there is a new show uh, on HBO. It's called Entourage and it's about, um, you know, some guys uh, trying to make it in show business. And they moved to L.A. and they're like, they want to meet you to talk about maybe directing an episode. And I was on Sunset Boulevard at the time. I remember that. And I'm like, all right, send it over. So they they send over the the um, the script, uh, I believe, for the pilot first. And then they sent the pilot. And I and I watched a pilot and I was so up my own ass that I was like, because I was going through a ver- like a smaller version of it myself. I went to Sundance. I saw the movie. I had a you know I had a different track, and I'm like, this is not quite exactly what it what it really is like. That's what I said to my agent, and he goes, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's not. It's just they don't they haven't quite nailed it in my view." Uh, and he goes, "He goes, but you're gonna go, go take the meeting, right?" I'm like, "All right, sure." So I go in and I meet. Uh, it's Doug Allen, right? And uh, uh, is it Rob White's? Steve Levinson was probably Steve Levinson, there. yeah. Right. And I go over, and I believe, to HBO, and I walk in, and I couldn't have been. I mean, and I'm I, I couldn't have been kind of ruder. I was just like, like, look, like, guys, let me tell you something. I said, I, I saw the movie at Sun. It's, a, it's not really like, and I and I go through the whole fucking thing, and and. For the first and probably only time in my life, I am just fucking dead honest about my opinion about this not being quite right. Uh, and they're looking at me like, what the fuck is going on here? What kind of fucking interview for a job is this? And and I leave it. And I was like, my agent calls me. He goes, how'd it go? I'm like, ah, probably not good. Probably not good. And, and he goes, yeah, yeah, they they didn't offer it to you. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I don't care. It's not going to last. Uh, and then I keep hearing about the show from everybody in fucking town. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I saw it. It's not, no, 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 no. And so then I watch one and I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then I watch the second one. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then I watch the third one. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then it becomes my favorite show on television. And I am now obsessed with the fucking show. And then I keep meeting people from the show Entourage, like Kevin and Emmanuel Shrieky. And I'm like, can you tell those guys um, that I was an asshole and dead wrong and that they shouldn't hire me as punishment, but just tell them the biggest fucking fan of their show. And it taught me this lesson, which is uh, pilots are incredibly hard and you know, and they get cl- and the, the truth is, I've rewatched the pilot. I'm like, that's actually pretty right. It, it, you get close, but if you know, as you get went through two, three, four, five, six, the show can really take off. Like the Arrested Development pilot, I didn't love it. Uh, I was a little friendlier about it, but um, uh, eventually it became this incredible show. And so it, it taught me the lesson, which is, you know, settle down, motherfucker, settle down. <laughs> well, you know, Jay, I gotta be honest, I heard that story. Like right after it happened, like day of or whenever the meeting was. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a story that made the rounds for sure uh, internally. And, and I feel like it could have gone either way, though. Couldn't it have been an attractive quality? Well, we were, we were talking about it weeks later and maybe, you know, when pop, the story would come up periodically after that. Um but Jay, to your point, I, I agree. I mean, the, the hardest thing is always the pilot. 